How's it going, YouTube? Daniel Mead here. And today, this is my first video that's going up on my channel. And what I'm going to be doing is mostly reviewing my homemade belts. Um, all I do is review wrestling belts, if mostly WWE-wise. Because I've been a huge fan with WWE since I was a kid growing up. Being, growing up with that two era, like Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock. To nowadays with Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, and AJ Styles. Anyway, I mostly re like to review my homemade belts because it all began when I was basically, when we were wearing kids' belts, they were always so small when we were getting older. And then the replica belts, they were always too expensive. So I was like, hey, why don't I make my own? Which actually was the idea for one of my belts that I'm not going to review in this video because it's going to take some time. I mean, you know, I don't want to make a longer video. I'll probably review the other belts in the, in the next video, so some other time. Well, anyway, I'm going to be reviewing my homemade WWF hardcore belt. And there's the reason why, because uh, I watched a YouTube video of a kid who actually was reviewing a replica belt of this, the WWE version of it. I left a comment in there saying they don't sell these anymore, so, I had to, so that's why I made my own. One guy made, replied to it saying make a video, so... Special thing, so I say thanks, uh, Tin Relic One, for replying to my comments about making a video. So this one is for you. So let's start by looking at the belt. You see here my Daniel Mead Championship belt stamp, two by eight snap box. The cheap and it's always a hassle to get the snaps because they're only the best bet to get the snaps was at Walmart because they're for like cheap for five bucks. Anywhere else, like Meyer, Joann's. Michaels are like eight bucks, and they don't even have. Walmart's comes with eight, while they come with seven. Side plate with, you see a little bit of red in there, like you see right here, and the blue there, or red splotch there. It's all that's just smeared on fabric paint that you use on like fabrics, which almost feels like a gel type of feel. Anyway, you see here the plates. These plates are just cardboard with metallic duct tape, which I. Use all, all my homemade belts are just your styrofoam or cardboard type plates wrapped in gold or silver metallic duct tape, which I review the other belts later in the in another video. As you can see here, if you can see etching there the WWF logo, right here you see like these black marks you can see in all on all the plates, like those are real like those are real burn marks. I actually just take a lighter and go to the plate and burn it. Here's the other side plate, WWF logo, duct tape there. There's WWF logos. And you can see this was, and of course the famous hardcore title, I mean champ, title, hardcore champion right there. Even though it's, you don't barely see the C. There I would say, it looks like it says Hampion. As you can see, this hardcore belt was made from a Wing Eagle replica that they smashed up. A lot of people thought this was the belt that Kurt Henning or Mr. Perfect smashed. On a Saturday Night Main event. In the backstage with a hammer. No. That belt was sold to a private collector. This was just the replica that WWE smashed up and gave to Mick Foley. Here would have said World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion. It took a lot of effort to do this. I actually take a push pin. Dip it in gold paint. And actually had to like, somewhat scratch it in there. That took a lot of time and effort. Here's the bar that's been broken off here with the tape. It actually feels bent. Here more burned plates with duct tape. With here's the logo plate, which I actually took from Paul Martin when he made his homemade belt, which was made out of wood, not cardboard. I give it a shout out to him. Don't forget to look at his channel. Here you see here it's really burned. I actually just kept the lighter on there for the longest time and burnt this snap box with a burnt gold tip. See, flipping on the back, backing here, duct tape there. And you feel the backing, there's little bumps in it. Those are just my uh, style of bolts. Yeah, why I put the quotes, because they're not really bolts. All they are is just thumbtacks that I hot glued into the back of the plate to make it feel like there's bolts. So, well, that's basically it. And you can see how f flexibility is wise with this, because it's a hardcore belt. There's not much plates there, and it's a broken belt, basically. You Anyway, I'm going to pause the video, 
and I'm going to show you what it is on my shoulder and around the waist. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys. So I hope you guys could see me in the photo or not. Anyway, here it is in hand. See the how flexible it is in both parts of the that. Yeah, basically, you can fling this stuff around. And truth is, it literally looks good on the waist. You can see right there in the back how it just flops over my shoulder. Truth is, this is a cool belt. I was glad I made this belt because for me, growing up. Watching the Attitude Era, when people were defending this belt, it was cool looking, and I actually like this belt. Now it's gonna do it around the waist, and I can tell you right now about I'm a I'm not like a I'm not a heavyweight, so and this is design and I made this belt to fit around maybe a 46 inch waist, and I'm mostly a, a cruiserweight. I'm under 200 pounds. So, this could easily fit around my waist. Oh, well, there it is. And there it is. Around the waist. Truth, actually, can this belt brings me back to the time when I had seen this, when Al Snow was defending this on Backlash against Hardcore Holly, where Crash Holly was defending this in the 24-7 rules. To the point when Tommy Dreamer had this belt, it was defend well, not this type of belt, where he was the hardcore champion, defended it for one last time against Rob Van Dam for the unification match. Well, I'm going to show you one last run through and I'm going to end the video. Here you go from the snap box to the stamp, the plates with the duct tape and paint and burn marks. If you guys want to see my other homemade, my other two homemade belts, you can probably leave a comment below. Also leave a comment below what you think of this belt. And there we go. That's the hard, my homemade WWF hardcore belt. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment what you think, and subscribe. And I'll see you. This is Daniel Meads. I'm going to see you guys in the next video.